we're going to run through the Unreal Sync panel. The first category is going to be how you export your JSON file for Unreal Engine. And this is how it syncs up. This is the location folder. You'll see there's a JSON already there. And then the export button. So every time you make a change, you just export it and then sync up in Unreal. Next thing is how you set up assets. So if you have a new asset, you'll see that custom properties under object has nothing. This one's already set up, so you can actually see that there is an asset name and level export boolean. And when this is checked on, it will export to the list. Checked off, will not export. So this is just a button to add all of those variables quickly. So if I hit add custom, you'll see they pop up. Under here, change asset name is a quick and easy way for you to change the name. Let's just call this box large. Hit apply. The name is changed. You don't have to use this to change the name. It's just a quick and easy way to do it. And also there's other ways to change names too. You can rename asset by the object, rename object to mesh data. So under every object is its mesh data name. Fortunately here, the mesh data name and the object's name are exactly the same. This will not be the case for everything. And with that, sometimes when you import objects or make objects, you'll run into a rotation that has a quaternion. And the tool doesn't like quaternions, it needs to be Euler. And an easy fix is just to hit this button, change XYZ Euler. So I click that, I go back, it's now a Euler rotation. Let's go back to usync. And then you have other variable options where you can select a bunch of objects and say export true, change the boolean to export true, export false, changes everything to export false. Also, if you have objects that you want to hide while you're working, I'll give you an option to hit wire. And now you can see through objects and work as if they're kind of there, kind of transparent. Turn them back by hitting solid, and that's everything to know about the Unreal Sync panel.